Hey guys, how are you? My name is Rafiq Wayani. I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple two-node storage cluster using CentOS 7. I've been doing this for quite some time. It works exactly in this manner in CentOS 6 and CentOS 7, all releases of CentOS 7, and it's very simple to build. I'm going to create uh, two directories on, well, one directory on two separate machines, and that directory is going to be replicated across two nodes. Uh, using CentOS uh, 7, and I'm going to use a client machine, which is also going to be a CentOS VM, that's going to connect to the volume and show you the replication happening. All of this is done in, well, really about 10 steps, 10 major steps with a few sub-steps. It's really not that hard. So I'm using VirtualBox for the purposes of my uh, hypervisor right on my desktop, and I'm creating... Uh, CentOS 7 machines. Each of the CentOS machines is going to have 2 gigs of RAM and 8 gigs of disk space. Very, very simple. And I'm installing CentOS with the default installation that allows you to select server with the GUI when you do the install. I have three machines created the exact same way. One that I'm calling Storage 01, the second one I'm calling Storage 02, and the third one I'm calling Client. Okay. So the two storage machines, I have a directory called Doc sales underneath the docs directory I have a directory called sales and they're going to exist on both of those storage machines okay? and these are the, the directories uh, this directory on one node and the second storage node they're going to be the ones that are going to be replicated across and let me show you how this is done in these steps very simple steps right? I've already done a few things because I did not want to take time out of this uh, well simple demonstration to install things and to set basic things up okay uh, I have already installed these two uh, repository these two uh, packages the CentOS release cluster and the cluster FS server note that you want to install these in order you have to install the CentOS release cluster first and then install cluster FS server you have to install these on both nodes and you want to also ideally make sure that both of the nodes, the both storage nodes, are accessible and you're able to use them uh, and connect to them utilizing uh, DNS names. Okay, so I have already also created a directory called sales underneath the docs directory. And I've given that directory all kinds of permissions, essentially redirect permissions, to user group and other. This is not something you'd want to do in production. You want to make sure that the directories are properly secured. Uh, I'm doing this for the purposes of demonstration just to show you how easy it is to do this uh, from scratch. Okay, so let's get going here. I'm going to show you how I do this. So here's my storage one machine. Here's my client machine. And here's my storage two machine. Okay, so from the client machine, I can ping storage 01, as you can see. And I can also ping storage 02. From storage 01, I can ping storage 02 very easily, okay, like so. And from storage 02, I can ping storage 01 very simply. Okay. So what I'm going to do also is I'm going to show you that I have a directory called docs sales right there, and ls ld docs sales as you can see, right. Uh, so as you can see, I have uh, read write permissions associated with these, right? Read execute permissions associated with these. So I'm going to do a schmod over here, and I'm going to issue a 666 to docs sales, and I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to do a schmod 666 to docs sales. Okay. When I take a look at this now. Not sure why I did it again. <laughs> kind of funny. So when I look at this now, notice I've got read write permissions in both instances. Right? And since it's a directory, I need to give it execute permissions. So I'm just going to do this over here. Doc sales. Okay. Add doc sales. Take a look. Okay. Read write execute. So I'm giving it essentially. 777 permission aren't I everywhere okay so that's that the next thing I need to do is I need to essentially make a uh, open a port on the firewall side 
for the purposes of enabling GlusterFS to enter here. So I'm going to do add service, and I'm going to say GlusterFS. And I'm going to do this on both storage nodes. Firewall, permanent, add, service, GlusterFS, like so. And then I'm going to do a firewall command, reload it. So that's done. Okay, those two are done. After that, uh, I am going to uh, start my Gluster service system control. Start Gluster D service, and then I'm going to enable it. Enable it like so. Do that up here. System control start cluster D service and enable enable All right. so that's done on both ends started it uh, place the firewall now what I need to do is I need to make sure that I add these as peer machines on cluster so I'm going to do peer probe and I'm going to say add storage to storage o2 and it added that and then I'm going to do gluster peer probe storage o1 so add storage o2 from storage o1 and add storage o1 from storage o2 okay so it says storage o1 is already there so we're good clear that up clear that up so it's cluster volume create there you go. Um, and the name of the volume is sales docs. And I'm creating two replicas. There we go. Done. Okay. So I've got, I created the sales docs replica. And that sales docs is really the volume that's getting created in Gluster. And it's replicating the docs sales directory in storage 02 and the docs sales directory in storage 01. Once I create the volume, I need to actually start it. So I'm going to do Gluster Volume, Volume, and I'm going to do a start. And the name of my volume is Sales Docs, right? So, so starting the volume that I just built. So it's done. Now I can go over to the client, and I can simply specify the mount. I can specify that I want to mount my Gluster FS volume not NFS, I'm mounting Gluster FS. And I'm going to say that I'm mounting it from storage 01, and I'm mounting the sales docs volume onto the mount share. There it goes. If I do DFH, I can see that mount right there. So that's done. Let me show you something. Right over here, if I do a CD uh, docs sales, you notice it's empty. If I do a CD doc sales, it's empty. Okay, I'm going to go over here and notice on over here I've got this mount pointing at sales docs. Yeah, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to say CD MNT, okay, and I'm going to say touch. Did this replicate? Go like that. Go over here. LA. Look, here it is. LA. Here it is. Look. Replicated on both machines. Yeah? So now I'm going to do this. I'm going to do VI did this replicate. What a bad way to name a file, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to say move this with uh, file 1 txt. Go over here. Here's the real, see the rename? There's the rename. I'm going to do a VIM file one txt. This is a test. This is a test. Save this. Cat file one txt. There's that. Go over here. There's that. Notice. All right. So that 
is very easy uh, Gluster FS, two-node cluster, <laughs> in a nutshell. Really glad you were here.